And welcome to the Flix Daily News for March 26, 2012. My name is Israel Anderson. On today's show, Santorum calls BS on CBS and Obama caught with a hot microphone. But first, thank you very, very much for all of those who contributed to our render farm fund. We have met our goal and we are now building a render farm. I'm in talks with Wyndham Hannaway in Boulder, Colorado. They are helping us with all the technical difficulties surrounding such a, an interesting project. And we've learned some interesting things. So some of you are about to get a, uh, all of those who contributed are about to get an email about that. Thank you so much. But there's another fund that needs to be bumped up a little and that is this one. The campaign right now is still under a million dollars in their money bomb. Please get along and contribute whatever you can. Now, Rick Santorum, you wouldn't think that he would be using words like this on the campaign trail. This is a direct quote. I'm serious. You would think this would be the end of his presidential campaign, but I, I suppose not. But from somebody who is a Catholic and is always talking about the morals that we're losing in this country, it sure is strange to hear him using this kind of profanity on the campaign trail to a reporter while the cameras are rolling. Uh, let's take a look at this clip. The worst Republican in the country. Is that true? What speech did you listen to? Right here. Right here. He's, he's the worst Stop Republican. Stop lying. I say he was the worst Republican to run on the issue of Obamacare. And that's what I was talking about. I have said uniquely, for every speech I give, I said he is uniquely disqualified to run against Barack Obama on the issue of health care. Would you guys quit distorting what I'm saying? Do you think he's the worst Republican to, to run, run against on Barack issues? Obama on the issue of health care because he, he fashioned the blueprint? I've been saying it in every speech. Quit distorting our words. If I see it, it's bull****. Come on, man. What are you doing? You know, Rick, I was just about to ask you the same thing. What are you doing? This is how you represent Christianity? Seriously? Dude, it's time for you to drop out of this race. You have absolutely no chance of winning against Obama. You have significantly less chance than Newt Gingrich, uh, Romney, and especially Ron Paul, who has got the greatest chance in all the polls of beating Obama. Rick Santorum, drop out of the race. You have discredited and disgraced yourself on national television. It's time to say good night, farewell, goodbye. Now. In the last election, we had some hot mic issues, and even afterwards, things have been found on hot mics. Obama has now been found saying something on a hot mic, and no, it's not the silly made-up fabricated video going around YouTube about Obama talking about Ron Paul's chances and what the GOP are doing to him. That is 100% fake, so stop spreading it, please. It's embarrassing. But... He did have to say something very serious. He and Medvedev were sitting down talking about the missile defense system that Russia doesn't like, and Putin is very, very upset about. So this is what he said. Obama said, after my election, I'll have more flexibility. And Medvedev replies, I understand. I'll let Putin know. <sighs> Mr. President, I think you just disgraced yourself as well. Let's take a look at the clip and you can hear from the horse's mouth. You know, in this case, it's not really a hot mic that they thought was off. It's the extent of a microphone's ability to pick up somebody at a distance. And a shotgun mic is incredibly good. I hope we get more things like this, but Mr. President, seriously, please don't run for office again. Even in the Democratic side, there are more capable characters that should be running in this race. Uh, Ron Paul made a couple of TV appearances today. One hasn't happened as the, at the recording of this, but will happen tonight, and that's Piers Morgan on CNN. Uh, but earlier this morning, he was on Bloomberg News, and you can catch both of these clips at Ron Paul Flicks. On tomorrow's show, we have a very, very important uh, item to bring you. Is America elect disqualifying Ron Paul delegates? We're going to get to the bottom of this. A lot of rumors going around. We've been collecting all the information. We'll have a report tomorrow. But for now, if you are a Ron Paul delegate,
or you are running to be a Ron Paul delegate, do not sign the America Elect petition. You'll see why on tomorrow's show. Ah, you can follow us on Twitter, Ron Paul Flicks. You can follow us on Facebook, Ron Paul Flicks. And for some reason, you haven't subscribed and favorited and thumbs up and commented or shared this video. Do it now. Uh, down the bottom of the screen, that share button there, it's really great. It won't stop the video from playing. If you want to support us financially, please go uh, to Ron Paul Flicks slash partner. We have some other chip-ins there for some other things we're buying. Um, and I found this little uh, image on the internet. I could not resist and sharing it with you. <laughs> internet warning. If you get an email with the title, Nude Photo of Newt Gingrich, don't open it. It's a nude photo of Newt Gingrich. And that's the show for tonight. Please make sure you get along to the campaign's website, ronpaul2012.com, and donate so we can get this up above a million dollars and we can keep fighting to get those delegates to the convention in Tampa, Florida. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.